But joke. I do have a boss. Shout out to Bob Pittman. That's one of my bosses. He actually mm -hmm. owns iHeart. But he has a boss, too. Mm -hmm. John Venata is his boss. Mm -hmm. Who's John Venata? That's the Miami warden, the correctional facility warden. That is his you boss. Mm -hmm. No, that. I, I heard him screaming, oh, a man, it's only one, bro. Woman Army Judah, baby, what's the most? It's your boy, Woman Army Judah, and we back again with another one. Now, this motherfucker. Fat motherfucker Rick Ross going at it with DJ Envy, man. Now, I ain't gonna ride Ross, goddamn. You might have to hold this L, man, because you shouldn't be going at it with motherfucking radio personalities, man. That's a lose lose situation for rappers, especially with that officer shit. Yeah, man, DJ Envy went in on this nigga about his motherfucking officer career, man. He shot shots at Envy first, and I guess Envy wanted to shoot back. Oh my god, but we're gonna go ahead and let them clips roll, man. I'm gonna let y'all get into this, man. Make sure y'all smash them like buttons, man. This must have Mojo Media with your boy Army Judah. We going to fuck But I do have a boss. Shout out to Bob Pittman. That's one of my bosses. He actually mm -hmm. owns iHeart, but he has a boss too. Mm -hmm. John Venata is his boss. Mm -hmm. Who's John Venata? That's the Miami warden, the correctional facility warden. That is his you boss. Mm -hmm. No, that stop. is the truth. You that is stop. the oh, truth. That's Rick Ross' boss. That's Rick Ross' boss. Stop. Rick Ross oh still gets a pension You're going too far. from the corrections. You he does. Oh Absolutely. He still gets a pension. So now let me get in the character. Football player. They kicked you off the team because you would stand by the showers and watch the boys take a shower. Chumper oh. Jacks. Then you moved to corrections. And what did you do? You watched the boys take a shower. That's what you did. You said another boy, so you wanted another one. <laughs> and then another one. And then another one. And then they asked you about it, and this is what you said. What made you want to do that? One of my big homies. One of my big homies had just got in trouble, and a lot of people, a lot of things were going on. Stop. And he just suggested it. Just this. I just told the people was coming to clean up my pool to hold on. Cause I said Envy and his seven sons could come over here. Y'all could handle this pool for the pool party July 2nd. DJ Envious, you just started a pool cleaning service. Cause you got a job. You work. That's why I'm kind of confused. You're talking to a boss and you got a job that you got to report to. Don't get fired by that white man. And I'm inviting to the car show and the pool party. A lot of people, a lot of things were going on. Stop. He just suggested it. Just suggest. That's not a boss. Uh, that's not a boss. That's a follower. My, my, my big homie told me to do it. That's not a boss. We're going to go and cut that show, man. But I'm going to roll with DJ Envy on this one, man. Hey, yo, Ross, you can't talk shit when you got that type of shit on your jacket, man. You going up against a nigga that ain't no rapper. He ain't no gangster, man. You feel me? Like, you going to lose that battle all the time. But, hey. Y'all smash that motherfucker like button, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. I got plenty more motherfucking mojo. And we gonna be back with mo and mo and mo. It's your boy, my homie Judah. We going up.